Hello everyone, it is Scales again. It's been a while since I last made a video, a couple weeks. Um, sorry about that. But I have a new episode, I have new stuff. I have Draco's new tank, 40 Allen. Pretty cool, pretty schnazzy. Um, yeah, so I finally got my table, got my shelf to put them on. And, yeah, you saw something else down there, I'll explain that again in a little bit. But I just want to explain this a little bit. Um, it's not totally done. I still have to boil a little bit of uh, a few logs and sticks and stumps and stuff. to Because I'm getting them from outside. I'm not going to spend a lot of money on just a, a stick, literally. Um, so I'm going to clean some off from outside, make sure there's no contaminants on it, and then I'll put them in here for them to climb on. So, um, kind of the same. Um, have a hut, but I've like, added a few rocks. Yes, Draco's right there. I just fed him a little bit of collard and a few crickets. So yeah, um, same bulb. Um, good basking rock. Um, I'm just using newspaper bedding for now because beater dragons are super messy. I'm not going to get any of that fancy carpet stuff or anything like that. Just for them to ruin, pretty much. So, yeah. it's, it's it, it, On here it's just super easy to clean. And beetle dragons make a mess when they go to the bathroom. So, yeah, right now he's sleeping, chilling out. So yeah, that's uh, Draco's kind of update. He's doing fine, eating perfectly fine. Uh, the basking spot should be roughly 80, 85. It's, kinda, it's nighttime right now, my fan going. Ugh, the sticky thing is sticking to the paper. This was stuck to his stomach. A couple of days ago, so it's really dirty now. Yeah, roughly 80. It keeps on falling off though. So, really useful. Should have got a digital one. Guilty brother. Dries the hell out of your hands. So, yeah, fairly basic. I'm gonna put another rot. Put some. I'm gonna put up some. Like a stick from here and stuff better climbing, make life a little more interesting for him. So down here, like I stated before, ignore my stuff in the background. I'm probably gonna get a background for this, like a jungle or a forest or something. But in here, I got some eco earth and some moss, kind of lichen kind of stuff. It's a packet of moss, that's what it's called. Thank you. Um, regular fish tank bulb, probably not gonna turn that on too often. But I want to put in a salamander in here. Um, preferably a tiger salamander. I like them. They get really big. I've already had one. You can go check out the videos from back then. But this is my 15 gallon. There we go. It's kind of nice and long. Didn't really clean that off very well. But yeah, it's perfectly clean. I just didn't just. It's been like this for like a week. For some stupid reason. I don't know why I put it in here. Um, I melted down. I... Put the eco earth in water in a bucket, and I just made it for some reason. Even though I'm I'm close to getting the salamander yet. Um, yeah, nice. Retains humidity a lot. <sighs> um, I'm probably gonna get another stick or log for them for a uh, salamander. That hide under, I suppose. It's fairly basic. Um, if I can't get a tiger salamander, I also kind of like uh, the marbled. Those are pretty cool, weirdish blue gray. That's really cool to look at. Their care is pretty much the same thing. And what else? I don't know. It's kind of like the tiger salamander. They get really big, really interesting to look at. Um, I still need um, maybe a water dish. I wanted to have this tank be kind of like a mini forest. I want to put like a pothos in it or something. Maybe a pothos potted plant. Make it look more lively. Um, I wanted to have it. Like a water dish, and it'll evaporate up, and then the screen will be nice and moist, and it'll fall back down again in moisture. Uh, right now, all I have is this kind of mossy, moldy stuff. So I'm trying to keep it as least humid as humanly, po humid as humanly possible. Um, nothing is in here right now. So, yeah, I'm just going to turn this lamp off. So i got to dry it out a little bit, so them keep the gunk. Other living organisms in there at bay. Unhappy or not? Living animals. Yay. 
So yeah. I know you guys have been really begging, really nagging me about his size, and I know about the size of his tank, so I got the 40 gallon, like I said I would. So there you go. Basking spot. It's normally 90s, but right now, again, my fan's on, it's kind of cool. So yeah, it's kind of chill. I accidentally got calcium powder on his head. Let's see if I can zoom in. Nope, my tablets cannot possibly handle that. And then Squirtle. Um, yeah, I changed the lighting a little bit for the African Sidenec Mud Turtle. So I have the bulb lamp. It's really dark. Turn the light on. Yeah, that really helped. Um, so yeah, it was regular basking bulb, but that doesn't have UVB. So I got the UVB bulb. Thing. Bar bulb. Thing. Whatever. And um, I noticed not much of it was getting to his bat for basking spot, so I kind of just moved it over. So that's why it looks really dark and drab. She's doing just fine, too. Yeah, super happy. All the time. Okay, and... Hydro stink. Um, well, this is a fetter. Oh, you really can't see that, can you? Jesus Christ. This really sucks. It is the night time, so... Whatever, you've seen it before in other videos. She's just fine. Pretty much the exact same. I fed her again a couple... Yesterday, actually. Bring this down. This thing's really crappy at keeping humidity. She doesn't like to be misted. Interesting to look at, I'm sure. Little head. See right there. She just slowly away. Cool to see you too. So, yeah. Um, if you have any advice, what else I might need. Um, what the hell is that noise? Okay. I'm sure it's just a death machine revving up. So, if, you need, if I need any more advice for what are the cool things that I should have for my Beater Dragon, um, let me know. Maybe a background or something would be beneficial. Different food dish. Can't even see what's in there. So I might just get rid of the food dish and put food right on the ground. So, yeah. Any more advice I might need? Probably need it. Um, tiger salamander advice. You know, for, I'm not turning that light on. Tiger salamander advice. Would be cool. Anything I might need for salamander. Anything I might not know. I've done my research. I always do a ton of research before I get an animal. Uh, most of the time, I don't even end up getting the animal, which is weird. This is really boring. I'm just going to show you Squirtle while I tap. Talk. 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 Yeah. Super active. Super happy. I need to clean her tank again. God. Make your tank filthy dirty. So, yeah. Any more advice I might need about salamanders you think I should know, post in the comments. Or if you think I should get a different kind of animal, put in that 15 gallon. Um, kind of have my heart set on something small, something simple, not overly complicated. I'm not being lazy, I'm just, I just like the simpler animals. They make more sense to get. By the way, turtle's very not simple. And neither is a bearded dragon, so, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. This tank is the peak of perfection, except for the filthiness. And the stupid mosquito fish that keep on breeding. Sometimes you can see the little itty bitty fish. Hey, you can see them in there. They're all over the place. Why are they in there? Give me answers. So yeah, they keep breeding. I have no idea how. I don't know where they're doing, what they're doing, why they're doing. So yeah, pretty basic. So yeah, any more advice I might need about anything? Really? Ah, my knees. They're really chill. And um, I guess comment. I like reading comments. Like, subscribe if you like stuff like this. And comments about any video that you'd like to see make me make. Like, like to have me make. I can speak English. And I'll get right to that. See how cool of a shot I can get. Oh yeah. Alright. Well. See you guys on the flip side.